Hello friends, this is Satvinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I'm a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. Today, I'm very excited because I am sharing with you something very important which can help you in Express Entry. What is that? What are the details? I'll share everything with you. But before that, a small request. If you are new to the channel and have not subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. We talk a lot about Canadian immigration news, update tips and tricks on this channel. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friend so that they can also benefit. Please press the bell icon so this video comes to you immediately when we upload. Please remember just one thing. This channel is dedicated to Canadian immigration. Anything happening on Canadian immigration, you will get it here. So without further delay, let's move on to a very important topic, which is about express entry. Well, today in express entry, everybody is talking about CRS. CRS, CRS, CRS. The cutoff CRS is very high. And how do we reach out to that CRS? That's a question. How can we reach to the cutoff CRS? That is the most important question. And, you know, everybody is hoping they get a magic lamp, right? If they get that magic lamp, if they rub that magic lamp, they can get IPA. Well, there is a magic lamp. There is a magic lamp and that magic lamp can increase your score by 200 points. So if your score is 350, you add 200, you reach to 550. What is that which increases your score by 200 points. What is that particular thing which increases your score by 200 points? Now, before I tell you, you will see why 200 points are important. Well, 200 points after PNP, after 600 points PNP, this is the biggest chunk. And this 200 points can straight away boost your CRS and not just boost your CRS, almost certain you will get ITA. When your ITA is certain, almost high chances, very, very high chances you will get PR. And when you get PR, that too, through the express entry, it is very fast. Yes, it is very, very fast. And when you get PR, your tensions, of course, get resolved. So that is why these 200 points are very important. Now, the question is, which tier code can give you 200 points? Here is the major thing. Only and only six tier codes are available. Only and only six tier codes are available. Some people may get confused what is tier. Well, tier there, I had a video which is about knock to tier. If you have not watched, please do watch that knock to tier video. So knock code, tier code is same thing. The only difference I can simply put it is knock code is a four digit code. Recently government changed it to tier code, which is a five digit code. That's the only difference I can tell you in short and simple words. So five digit code is a tier code. So six tier codes are only available. Only six tier codes. And out of those six tier codes, two are reserved. You cannot use them. Remaining four, only four are available. So just the four tier codes are there. Only four tier codes. That's all. Which can give you 200 points. Now let us look at what those four tier codes are. So. The tier codes, these are very special tier codes. These are not the normal tier codes. They start with triple zero, triple zero, 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 triple zero. And as I said, two tier codes are reserved. And what are those? They start with triple zero, two tier codes are reserved, which is triple zero ten for legislator reserved for Canadians. Triple zero eleven. This is also reserved. This is for senior government officials. Senior government officials. So this also goes away. Ten and eleven goes away. So you are left with twelve, thirteen, 
14 and 15. Now, 12 is for companies in the IT sector, in the broadcasting, in the sector, sorry, in the telecommunication sector. 13 is for the senior managers in the health, education, social community services. 14 is for the trade, broadcasting, and other services. And 15 is for the construction, transportation, utility companies. So these are only four tier codes, 0012 to 0015. 0012 to 0015, these are only four tier codes. Now question is, what are the two ways you can get 200 points? There are, there are two ways actually, not one. The first way is very famous and many people already know that. The first way is LMIA based work permit. So this is not the normal LMIA my friend. This is a special LMIA. This LMIA gives you 200 points. This is a special LMIA, 200 points LMIA. This is one way. There is a second way. The second way is LMIA exempt. LMIA exempts include a lot of categories. I am just saying few of them. So it includes ICT, intra-company transfer. I have a detailed video on ICT. If you have not watched, please do watch. ICT is a very valuable uh, program which can help not only business people but also the senior management and middle management people to come to Canada. So ICT, please do watch my video that can give you a lot of information about intra-company transfer. The second one is startup visa SUV. Well, it's not that SUV which we drive. This SUV is special. It's a startup visa. Again, I have a very detailed video on SUV. If you have not watched, please do watch this SUV program and you'll get a lot of information. So the third is bilateral agreements. So there are other also, but I'm not covering here all of everything. So these are, these are the two ways, LMIA based, LMIA exempt. Just simple, LMIA based, LMIA exempt. So one which is LMIA based, you need to have LMIA. So now the next question is, what is the title of the people who are coming under these 200 points. So the titles are very special. These people have to be managing director, vice president, general manager. They have to be CEO, chief executive officer, chief financial officer, chief operating officer, COO, chief technology officer. So you are above the middle management. Remember, above the middle management, that is the key. So you have to have certain experience. So now let's look at the profile of the person who matches with these titles. So the profile is very important because this is not for a college graduate who just, you know, did 12th and, you know, two years of college and he says, you know, I can get that. No, this is not meant for them. It is not meant for them. You need to have some shades of gray. So gray in your hair. Minimum, minimum education should be graduation. Minimum education should be graduation, preferably masters or some kind of management degree and minimum seven to 10 years of experience. And when I say this, I am talking about an age group of roughly 35 years of age. And you should have middle managers reporting to you. That is the kind of the profile. That is the kind of profile you need for this tier course to get 200 points. Now, the next important thing is what should be the size of the company to give you these kind of titles. You know what? I can have a small Two people company I call myself CEO no that's not going to work that's not going to work so the larger the company the better it is to justify at least five to ten people 
that is minimum five to ten people or seven to ten people minimum company should have there should be some kind of middle management and employees should be reporting to that middle management and there should be some departments like advertising like finance marketing some kind of production so all if there is no department then it is also it's not possible so you should have at least more than one location minimum more than one location so these are few attributes of the company only then they can do all these things so now next question which talks about what are the documents required well most important document is the organizational chart organizational hierarchy it tells you where you are what is your title who reports to you and you should have supervisors middle managers who are reporting to you and in return those middle management should have some employees reporting to them so payroll records can also show number of employees in that company and also your payroll your salary records can show that your salary being paid by the company including the pay stubs all you can show that so here i would say you know if you are drawing 16 dollars an hour you cannot be a ceo so please be mindful when we say ceo vice president you need to have a reasonable reasonable i'm using the word there is no minimum maximum i'm talking about i'm using the word reasonable to have minimum to show that that much is hourly you are getting so provide documentation about the company activities like what is the business activities what kind of income statements you have what is the cra reports so all this you need to prove that this is the company in existence and you can then claim 200 points so one last point i want to say is these lmis are not available off the shelf you can go and get it no these lmis are special there is lot of scrutiny lot of checking on these lmis and this is not for everyone remember as i already said that profile of these people should be at least like 35 plus so this is not for everyone and LMIA description, the job description provided in the LMIA and the profile of the person should marry each other, should match. If it doesn't match, this is not going to happen. And lastly, and this is for ICT people. So ICT people, if they are coming and initially whatever the knock code was mentioned on their ICT work permit. so that is the most crucial so if you are doing a senior manager role but knock code is telling something else so you have to then go by the knock code so that's all about this one thing i always tell you each person is different each profile is different each has its own plus and merit minuses so merits demerits as i always say so if you need to discuss your profile with us, more than welcome. You can book an appointment. Our office is located in Brampton and address, email ID, phone number. Everything is shared right here with you. Very important. If you have still not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks.